love, I really love this grapple because you can pick up almost everything and it once you rake the little piles like this you can almost pick up every little bit because we put a piece of flat bar on the top and bottom and we created a pinch point all the way across so I'll show you how tight this is Not much gap in here so when you pick up these piles you can get it to where you can actually pinch you get almost everything we'll raise it up a little bit so you can see the bottom see we've got a little bit of an overlap here you don't want that you want a pretty even pinch point this is where you get the dirt in there so as you're pulling forward and grabbing, you want to grab and pull forward at the same time. It'll eliminate you uh, grabbing the ground, but you want to keep that pinch point really consistent, and you don't want any overlap like that. The, the bucket was bent, so we had to uh, make an adjustment. We're actually going to probably cut that off because we're picking up a little bit of dirt. But if you're real careful, you can pick up right off the grass and not hurt anything. So I'm going to show you how this works. See if I can do it without tearing the grass up. gets it. See, it pretty much got everything. Sometimes I can get everything if the grass is real nice and the grass holds it up. But you see I got pretty much every single bit of that. I did hit the grass a little bit here because it's uneven. Then you just step it off and get it done. But this is a really good setup. You should always have like a one of these like a mini skid, skid steer and something that has a really uh, long pinch point and it'll eliminate a lot of your cleanup time um, this isn't the strongest grapple but it's the most versatile you can pick up logs you can pick up debris and uh, it used to be a, a root rake but we filled it in on the bottom and uh, reinforced it and uh, changed the grapple around a little bit made it stronger so now uh we need some more, <clears throat> we need some newer pistons, or original pistons. I paid 2500 for this probably about eight years ago, nine years ago. And we just keep modifying it, keep changing it, keep repacking the pistons. But the pistons are about shot. <laughs> They're leaking. So I'm looking for a new set of pistons, maybe a little bit bigger and stronger next time. So anyway, this is Roger's reviews with the best setup for the Ditch Witch compact loader for cleaning up debris. If you only have one grapple, this is what it should be.